Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Tajma, and I'm here today to show you guys my small walk-in closet and how I organize it. If this is something that interests you, please continue to watch and please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So we're gonna start off with the top of my closet. I keep all my shoe boxes up here and a few hats, but mainly I keep the shoes that I don't wear all the time up here. So that includes like my more so expensive summer sandals and heels and things of that nature that I don't typically wear. Below that, I keep all of my tops. I organize my tops by my work tops, my work sweaters, my work jackets, then come my bodysuits, my t-shirts, my long sleeves, and all of my sweatshirts. After I organize it by that, I then organize it by sleeve length. After I organize it by sleeve length, I then organize it by color. This helps me be able to get to things faster. If I know I'm looking for a short sleeve top, whether it's work or whether it's something casual, I can literally look straight to it. And when I need a certain color, it's literally right there. So that makes it easier for me. Another tip is if you're right-handed, you put your clothes facing the left. And that's because when you pick up your clothes like this, it'll be facing you. I'm actually left-handed, but I do everything with my right hand. Therefore, I put things going to the left. And that's how I organize my tops. Here on my second rack, I put my all my bottoms. I put my work pants to the left-hand side because all of my work clothes are to the left-hand side. This is just my random drawer situation where all of my sweatpants go in, random t-shirts and things of that nature that I will not hang up. To the right will be all my sweatpants and my jeans. I literally almost never wear jeans, so all my sweatpants are first. These jeans I actually do wear, but whatever. All my sweatpants are first, my leather pants, and then all of my denim are in the back. And at the very bottom, which you guys can't see, I put line up all my shoes that I wear on an everyday basis. On my middle rack here, which you guys also can't really see because my clothes are hovering over it, but they're all of my work shoes and like random throw-on sneakers that I might have to just, I don't care for, you know, the throwaways. So another look that I was going for in my room was to be minimalistic. Therefore, I only have two side tables. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already. So what I ended up doing was bringing a three drawer dresser into my closet. My top drawer is just like little random stuff that would possibly be out in my bedroom if I didn't have a place for it. So that's what my top drawer is. My middle drawer contains my bras, underwear, socks, and undershirts. My last drawer just contains random hair things I need like a blow dryer, flat irons, and things of that nature. Up here, I put all of my linen because I don't have a linen closet. So I just fold it up neatly in the same direction and everything to make sure it just looks symmetrical and, and neat as possible since you have to come in my actual closet to get it. Here is where I put all my dresses, long vests, and like, you know, my going out clothes. I wear a lot of gray in the winter time, therefore all of my gray is in the front. Then I go color coordinated again with my whites, my colors, my nudes, cheetah, and black. I keep these things here because I don't necessarily like folding them up in the summertime and a lot of these pieces are versatile. That's another tip. If you guys have versatile pieces, do not put them away in your summer, like your summer bag or wherever you put your summer clothes because some of these things can be layered and it can still be worn as winter pieces as well. But anything that's strictly summer, like you, it's not versatile, pack it up and put it away. And then when summer comes, pack up all the super heavy winter stuff that you cannot wear in the summer. And that's how you make flexible room for your closet. Hey guys, I hope you liked today's video and I hope you learned some tips that'll help you organize your closet and keep it together. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.